Welcome to our tutorial about the masked text box control. In this tutorial, we're going to use the masked text box as a bound control to display zip codes. First, let's begin by aligning our controls on the form so it looks a little bit better. Select Format and Align, and let's left align them. We'll drag them over a little bit. Now let's align our text boxes. Align left and we'll drag them over as well i'm going to delete this text box now let's go to the toolbox and select a masked text box we'll put it right here next to zip code a masked text box is similar to a regular text box control except the mask gives you more control in the way the information is entered by the user and displayed in the text box. Let me show you what I mean. We're going to select the nine digit zip code format and click OK. Now let's drag the zip code field right onto our text box. When the shortcut icon appears, I release it. Now the mask text box is selected. Let's go to data bindings. Under the text property, I see team underscore a binding source. I can click the drop down menu and choose different fields from here. And let's run our program. As a result, we see the zip code formatted as we'd set in nine digits. If we go to the last entry, which we saved in our previous tutorial, we don't have the last four digits. We only see four underscores displayed. And this concludes our tutorial about using a masked text box.